Imagine walking into your very own arcade, lights dimmed, music setting the mood, and your entire game collection waiting for you, beautifully organized. That's the magic of Big Box. Big Box is more than just a game launcher. It's a gateway to reliving the nostalgia of retro consoles, combined with the polish of modern gaming. Designed as a premium full-screen mode of launch box, Big Box transforms your game library into a cinematic experience. Whether you're navigating with a controller from your couch or showcasing it in your home arcade, from its highly customizable themes to its intuitive layouts, Big Box lets you fit your gaming space to fit your personality. Prefer a retro vibe? Switch to a classic theme. One cutting edge style? Explore a more modern layout. And let's not forget the Game Discovery Center, a curated space to uncover hidden gems, track high scores, or find games with achievements all at your fingertips. Big Box isn't just about looks, it's built for ease of use. Control and navigation are effortless, with everything from search to settings optimized for a keyboard-free experience. Easily set up playlists, browse platform categories, or explore new genres, all with just a few clicks or button presses. Whether you're a retro enthusiast or a modern gamer, Big Box is the ultimate tool for crafting a personalized, immersive gaming experience. Now, let's dive in and unlock the endless possibilities of Big Box. I've just wrapped up configuring a minimal build of LaunchBox. For now, I'm using the free version. But here's something exciting. Starting with LaunchBox 13.16, every build now includes a 30-minute demo of Big Box. This gives you the perfect opportunity to explore the interface, its features, test its functionality, and see if Big Box is the right fit for your setup. While the demo does have some limitations, you'll still gain a solid understanding of how it can elevate your gaming experience. Let's take a closer look. Starting the trial brings up a disclaimer, letting you know that your 30 minute session is about to begin. By default, Big Box opens the Gaming Discovery Center, showcasing games tailored to your gaming habits. If we try to run Spy Hunter for the PS2, a game Big Box has carefully selected for us, you'll see a disclaimer, reminding you that launching games requires the full version. For now, we'll choose No, and check out what else Big Box offers. Let's head down to Platform Categories and take a look at our game library. In this build, we organize the categories into computers, consoles, and arcade. Let's hit the A button and select Arcade. You'll notice that Big Box includes playlists automatically created during your main set import. Some truly iconic games. Let's hit B to head back, B once again, and B to bring up the system menu. Now let's head down to platforms. We can browse into all the platforms we imported into LaunchBox. Let's select my favorite console, the Sega Genesis. Big Box displays all our Genesis games beautifully, including clear logos, box art, and video. Let's hit the A button and take a closer look at this underrated classic. Sports Talk Baseball. The game details menu offers plenty of options. You can listen to the game's music, view the instruction manual, discover related games, and if you're up to some online gaming, net play. One of my favorite features is the view to 3D models of the game boxes. This takes me back to those days of leaving Toys R Us with a newly acquired game, studying every inch of the box on the ride home, dissecting every image and every word, building up that excitement. With Big Box, you can relive that experience, all from the comfort of your couch, using just your controller. Let's keep hitting B until we're back to the system menu. Let's navigate to manage themes, once again, we're greeted with a disclaimer reminding us that this feature requires a premium license. This time, let's hit yes to learn more. This opens a premium launch box page where you can explore pricing and compare the different versions available. Whether you're on Windows or Android, prefer yearly or lifetime licenses, the choice is yours. Your premium license is DRM free 
meaning you can install it on as many personal devices as you like. Once you're ready to purchase, navigate to the purchase option and follow the prompts. And in just a few minutes, you receive your license file via email. Simply save that license file into your LaunchBox folder and your instance of LaunchBox will take care of the rest the next time it restarts. There's no data loss, no library corruption, no errors or bug reports, and no headaches. Congratulations. LaunchBox Premium, including full access to Big Box, is now yours. Now that LaunchBox is registered, let's head back into Big Box and explore some themes. Big Box just isn't about organizing your game collection. It's about making it look amazing. Let's hit the B button to head to the system menu. Let's move down to manage themes and hit the A button. This brings us to the theme section. Here's how it's organized. First, we have installed themes, where you'll find the three themes that come pre-installed by default. Next, there's installed themes with updates. If any of your installed themes have available updates, they'll appear here. Right now, we have no updates available. Then we have available themes most popular. This section highlights 20 of our most popular themes, making it easy to find the ones that users love the most. Then there's available themes new and updated. Here you'll find 20 themes that are either brand new or have been recently updated. And finally, we have all available themes, which provides us access to the complete list of themes. Right now, there are 27 themes available in total. These themes have been personally curated and tested by the LaunchBox team to ensure the best experience. Want even more options? Head over to the LaunchBox forums where you'll find over 200 custom themes created by the community. Take your time browsing and find the perfect theme to match your setup. To customize your experience, we need to head into the theme manager. Here you can browse available themes, install new ones, and apply them to Big Box. Let's head to Available Themes, Most Popular, and install one of our most popular themes. The community has crafted some amazing themes, each tailored to fit a variety of setups. You should have no problem finding one to fit your needs. For this demo, we'll be installing one of the most popular themes, Unified Redux. Installing a theme is simple. Let's hit the A button to select it. Let's head to install and hit the A button again. Big Box will now go out and download the latest version of the theme. Once the theme is installed, let's head over to apply as main theme and hit the A button. You'll be prompted if you want to apply this as your main Big Box theme. Let's hit yes. All platforms and playlists have been successfully reset to use this theme. Before we head back into Big Box, let's talk about views. Every theme is made up of views. These views determine how your interface is displayed. Each theme can include multiple views, allowing you to customize the look and feel of your setup. Depending on the view you select, elements like game lists, artwork, and metadata will be arranged differently. Some views focus on minimalist designs while others provide detailed layouts with extra information. Choosing the right view lets you tailor your experience to match your preference and screen setup. Let's hit B a few times to exit the theme manager. Now that we're at the system menu, let's hit B once again to head back in the big box. When you apply a new theme in Big Box, you may notice that most sections like platforms, platform categories, and games take on the new design right away. However, the Game Discovery Center might still look the same as before. This happens because not all themes include custom designs for every section of Big Box. The Game Discovery Center is one of the newer sections, and some themes have not been updated to include styling for it. You can navigate to any section you want. Let's hit the B button and scroll down to view platforms. This allows you to view your collection in a fully themed view. 
Since Big Box is fully customizable, you can set it up however you like, including choosing which view to start in. If you prefer a different starting point, you can easily adjust it to launch in any view you'd like. Let's hit B to head back to the system menu, head down to options, views, and set the default startup view to platforms. This ensures that every time you launch Big Box, it starts in a fully themed section instead of the game discovery center. With our theme applied, you'll immediately see the changes. Unified Redux is designed as a wheeled theme, giving you a smooth and organized way to browse your collection. To showcase how views work, I've assigned a key on my keyboard to cycle through views. We'll dive deeper into key mapping and control customization in our next, more advanced Big Box video. For now, let's take a look at the different views this theme has to offer. By default, this theme starts in Platform Wheel 1, but let's switch to Platform Wheel 2. The difference between them is subtle. Both offer a similar layout, but Platform Wheel 1 includes scrolling platform details for an extra visual and informative element as you browse. Let's check out Text List with Details. This view offers a simple, streamlined way to browse through your gaming systems while still providing key information at a glance. On the left, we have a clean text-based list of all the platforms in our collection. No flashy animations, just a straightforward way to navigate quickly. On the right, you'll see detailed information about the selected platform, like its game count, most played game, manufacturer, and CPU. This view is perfect for those who prefer efficiency over visuals, allowing for fast navigation while still displaying important details about each system. If you're looking for a simple, informative way to browse your platforms, this is a great option. Let's select Sega Genesis and take a look at game views. By default, we're in Vertical Wheel 1, a clean and simple layout. Vertical Wheel 2 adds the game cartridge in front of the box art, giving it a bit more depth. Switching to Vertical Wheel 3, we see that the cartridge now spins, which is a great effect for CD-based systems. Vertical Wheel 4 takes things even further by using the game's video snap as the background, creating a dynamic, immersive look. Finally, Text List with Details removes the clear logos from the wheel and simply displays the game names, offering a more minimalistic browsing experience. Now, let's head back and check out one more very cool theme. Now, let's take a look at one of the most visually dynamic themes for Big Box, Three Dimensions. This theme takes your game browsing experience to the next level. With smooth transitions, 3D effects, and immersive visuals, if you want a modern and polished interface, this is one theme you won't want to miss. Let's install it and apply it as our main theme. Right away, you'll notice what makes Three Dimensions stand out. It adds a sense of depth and movement that makes your game collection feel more alive. The menus have a sleek, futuristic look, and the transitions are smooth, making everything feel fluid and responsive. One of the standout features of the Three Dimensions theme is the ability to rotate box art, adding an extra layer of depth to your browsing experience. This 3D effect makes your library feel more interactive. One of the coolest details in the Three Dimensions theme is how it accurately represents each console's unique box shape. Whether it's the slim jewel cases of the Dreamcast, the tall clamshell cases of the Sega Genesis, or the CD jewel cases of the PlayStation, each platform's game boxes are faithfully recreated. This attention to detail adds an extra layer of authenticity, making it feel like you're browsing a real physical collection rather than just a digital list. Coverflow with Details is a sleek and immersive way to browse your collection in Big Box. As you scroll, game boxes smoothly slide across the screen in a flowing 3D style animation, creating a cinematic feel. 
The Three Dimensions theme offers a variety of unique views, each bringing something different to the way you browse your collection. Whether it's the smooth scrolling wheels, immersive video backgrounds, or grid-based layouts, each view is designed to enhance the experience. No matter which view you choose, you can rotate the box art, giving you a full 3D perspective on your collection. The small detail adds an extra layer of realism, making it feel like you're flipping through your actual game cases. And speaking of game cases, the box art in this theme looks absolutely stunning. As you rotate it, you'll notice a subtle sheen effect, almost like a light source reflecting off the cover. It's a small touch, but it makes the artwork feel more tangible, almost like you're holding the game in your hands. The Three Dimensions theme doesn't just display your collection, it brings it to life. As usual, we spend so much time setting things up and not enough time actually playing. Let's take a moment to appreciate what we built and enjoy this true classic on the PlayStation. It's hard to believe it's been 30 years, but back in 1985 when Destruction Derby launched on the PlayStation, it was nothing short of mind-blowing. Gamers were used to 2D sprites and side-scrolling action, but suddenly we had this fully 3D world where cars just weren't racing, they were smashing into each other, crumpling, spinning out in real time. The leap from 16-bit to 32-bit felt massive, far more significant than the jump from 8-bit to 16-bit, which still had that cartoony pixel art charm. But this, this was something else. It wasn't just sharper graphics or more colors. It was a completely new way of playing. Seeing a car get damaged dynamically, watching pieces fly off, feeling the sheer chaos of a pileup in the bowl-shaped arenas, it was something that just couldn't be done on previous consoles. Before this, destruction and racing games were static. Maybe a car blinked or slightly deformed, but here you could completely wreck your vehicle and the damage affected how it handled. A crushed front end, your car wouldn't steer right. Lost too many parts, you were barely holding it together. It was the kind of game that showed off what the PlayStation could do. Not just better graphics, but entirely new experiences that weren't possible on older hardware. And for a generation of gamers, this wasn't just a racing game. It was a glimpse into the future of gaming. It's been a while since we've done a dedicated video on Big Box. So we figured we'd start with the basics. But don't worry, we're just getting started. Stay tuned as we dive into some of Big Box's more advanced features, including some you might not even know about. As always, any questions or comments, drop them down below. This is Retro Python for LaunchBox. Until next time, happy gaming.